Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline on this Sunday, January 24th. I am David Lehman, the Bishop of Caledonia. I'm joined this evening by the Dean. Hello. Which means I've made it back to Prince Rupert. And we are on the traditional ancestral enunciated territory of the Shimshan people, for which we are most grateful. This evening we mark uh, the eve of the conversion of St. Paul and uh, our readings will reflect and we'll hear of the story of St. Paul's conversion, a reminder of God's saving grace in all lives. Uh, and this uh, is the eve of uh, so the conversion of St. Paul ends the week of prayer for Christian unity and um, uh, and so we, we come to conclusion, though that work carries on much beyond the week. As it is Sunday evening, I share a book with you that I'm reading, and I'm reading one that's been around for about 27 years, Ministry in the Oral Culture, Living with Will Rogers, Uncle Remus, and Minnie Pearl by Tex Sample. It is... Um, it's a kind of slightly dated volume, no denying that, 27 years out, because it doesn't take into account social media. And I would love to hear his take on that, because I think there's uh, much in our society that still is within the oral cultural tradition, uh, even though we uh, post it to the net instead. Like, have you seen the latest ones of Bernie Sanders and those memes? Um, for instance, uh, and part of that ongoing conversation, how that impacts how we talk and how we share ideas and engage in sharing our faith, um, especially within now the, the um, 140 character mindset that we live in. I know it's more than that now, I just thought I'd use that as a reference point. So before I get totally distracted, let us pause, be still, as we come into a time of worship and know that we are surrounded by God's grace, mercy, and love. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Our psalm for this evening is Psalm 126, found on page 500. Psalm 126, page 500. We shall say the psalm together. When the, when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like unto them that dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with joy. Then said them they among the nations, The Lord hath done great things for them. Yea, the Lord hath done great things for us already, whereof we rejoice. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, as the rivers in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that now goeth his way weeping and bearing forth his seed shall doubtlessly come in with joy and bring his sheaves with him. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the Acts of the Apostles, beginning in the 21st ch chapter at the 40th verse. Paul stood on the stairs and beckoned with, with uh, the hand unto the people. And when there was made a great silence, he spake unto them in the Hebrew tongue, saying, Men, brethren, and fathers, hear ye my defense, which I make now unto you. And when they heard that he spake in the Hebrew tongue unto them, they kept the more silence. And he saith, I am verily a man which is a Jew, born in Tarsus, in a city of Sicilia, yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel, and taught according to the perfect manner of the law of the fathers, and was zealous toward God, 
as ye are all this day. And I, perse I persecuted this way unto the death, binding and delivering into prisons both men and women, as also the high priest doth bear me witness, and all the estate of the elders, for whom also I received letters unto the brethren, and went to Damascus to bring them which were there bound unto Jerusalem for to be punished. And it came to pass that, as I made my journey, and was come nigh unto Damascus about noon, suddenly there shone from heaven a great light round about me, and I fell unto the ground, and heard a voice saying unto me, Saul, Saul, why, per why persecutest thou me? And I answered, Who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And when they that were with me saw indeed the light, and were afraid, but they heard not the voice of him who sp that spake unto me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, Arise, and go into Damascus, and there it shall be told thee of all the things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light, being that they led me by hand from there, were made with me, I came into Damascus, and one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, having a good report of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me, and stood, and said unto me, Brother Paul, Saul, receive thy sight. And at that same hour I looked upon him. And he said, The God of our fathers hath chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will, and see that just the just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth. For thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast, heard, hast seen and heard. And now why tarest thou? Arise, and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, call, calling on the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We continue on page 723. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. We say together the Te Lucas Ante Terminum. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wanted favor thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasize. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. We say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. 
the third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. In the language nearest to your hearts, we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our ancestors, to be praised and magnified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord of the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Together we say the confession. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou not turn again and quicken us? That thy people may rejoice in thee. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come unto thee. And I collect for this the eve of the conversion of St. Paul. O God, who through the preaching of the blessed, uh, Saint, blessed Apostle St. Paul, Thou hast caused the light of the gospel to shine throughout the world. Grant, we beseech thee, that we, having his wonderful conversion and remembrance, may show forth our thankfulness unto thee for the same by following the holy doctrine which he taught. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers and petitions for the people and places that are upon your hearts tonight. Inviting you to name them aloud and or share them in the comments box where we may enter into prayer with you. We pray this night for all who are suffering from the coronavirus. For those who are in hospital, particularly in ICU beds. For those who are at home on the road to recovery. For those for whom the journey to recovery is complicated. Praying particularly this night for Canon Davis and his uh, continued recovery in hospital. Praying for those who are at home awaiting test results and are self-quarantining. For those of us who are waiting for the vaccine and for the day in which uh, this will all be behind us. Praying for all who, others who are either recovering from or going into surgery or waiting a surgery. For those who are undergoing treatments and procedures. For all who are in the medical system and those waiting or those afraid to 
call and go in. That God's healing hand may be upon us all. We pray for their family and friends, those who journey with them, and for the doctors, nurses, and all the medical staff that have care for them, that they may all be protected from, uh, from COVID and strengthened and given much compassion and grace in these days. We pray this night for all who are grieving, praying for Eugene and his family, and for all others that we are that we know of, praying that we may hold firm to God's promises to be faithful to us, especially in death, and that we may cast our hearts upon Him. We pray for all who lead us, those making difficult decisions within the communities, both the elected and the volunteers. For those who lead us provincially and across the provinces and territories in this country, for those who lead us federally, praying particularly for those who are trying to secure the vaccines and to continue the research into the other vaccines that are out there and the ongoing uh, recovery efforts and, and, and especially in the recovery of the economy. We pray for those who lead us internationally, praying for the ongoing uh, uh, transitions in the United States, for those who lead uh, countries that are struggling with strife in different places in the world, praying tonight for uh, the shooting that happened in Indiana, I believe it was this evening or earlier today, for uh, Indonesia as it continues to struggle with um, uh, so many things, uh, but particularly natural disasters. For all those countries that are in need of prayer that are on our hearts and minds this night. And as we think on the conversion of St. Paul, we pray for the church throughout the world, for its witness, for our invitation into participate in God-saving acts in our communities and how we are called to make Christ known and to do so in ways that are fruitful and helpful and respectful. And so we pray for our leaders. We pray for Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Linda Nichols, our primate, for Mark MacDonald, our National Indigenous Anglican Archbishop, for Melissa Skelton, our Metropolitan, giving thanks for uh, John Stevens' consecration yesterday as the Bishop Quadrator for the Diocese of New Westminster, and praying for Anna Greenwood Lee as she prepares for her consecration and seating as the Bishop of British Columbia Islands and Inlets. And we pray for all who led worship and participated in worship across this diocese and around the world today both clergy and lay, and for our participation in God's mission. We pray for, we pray with intention tonight for families of students, for teachers and schools, and for uh, colleges and particularly seminaries. We pray for all families that, you know, are per tonight preparing to send children to school tomorrow, who have gotten out the school clothes, packed the lunches, and and prepared for a day, uh, a new school week and a school day tomorrow. And, and for those who are anxious in these times about sending kids to school, and for those who, who the kids are going down the hall to work on a computer and, and the schoolwork there, and for the balance of family life in this time of COVID and for a chance for young people to learn and be excited about learning and to come into a, a deeper awareness of the world around them. And we pray for the teachers, for those who are particularly working in a hybrid scenario 
for those who have larger classes and are anxious about COVID, for those teachers who are um, struggling with how to connect with the students, to build a healthy community and to meet their needs uh, emotionally and intellectually. And we pray for the schools, for all the staff, for the extra care of the janitorial staff, for the support workers, for those working with special needs students, for the administration and the IT departments as they try to connect and bring students together. We pray for all post-secondary institutions and for all the adult learning going on, for the innovation that's happening, for the ongoing uh, transition into alternate means of education, praying for seminaries, particularly Wycliffe and Vancouver School of Theology, and for their adaptation of their programs and and coming together to uh, to to form clergy um, and the ministry that will happen in the church after this pandemic. And we pray for those whom you have named and as we offer our intercession. Be mindful, Lord, of thy people gathered before thee. Care for the infants, guide the young, support the aged, encourage the faint-hearted, collect the scattered, and bring the wandering to thy fold. Travel with the voyagers, defend the widows, shield the orphans, deliver the captives, heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, anxiety, or distress. Remember for good all those that love us and those that hate us, and those that have desired us and worthy as we are to pray for them. And those whom we have forgotten, do thou, O Lord, remember. For thou art the helper of the helpless, the saviour of the lost, the refuge of the wanderer, the healer of the sick. Thou who knowest each one's need has heard the prayers. Grant unto each according to thy merciful loving kindness and thy eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And I invite your thanksgivings for this day, for those grace moments that you have experienced. I am thankful for traveling mercies and getting um, back to Prince Rupert with relative ease today. Um, and uh, thankful for the Dean and for him carrying on our uh, virtual coffee hour, especially after the internet took a disliking to me last night and I could not connect to things like Facebook after Compline, so I could not upload the connection and the link for our virtual coffee hour today. And for you know, uh, coming back to a lovely dinner already in the hopper and, uh, and uh, some to cheer along the Green Bay Packers. We give thanks for the season that they had and for that other Bay team going on to to uh, the Super Bowl. Uh, and I give thanks for the chance to have gone to, to Vancouver and to have had the time with the people of New West again and uh, for getting back. And for you all to be able to gather with you as we do nightly and offer our prayers and support for one another and to be the body of Christ together though apart. So with your thanksgivings, we pray. O most merciful Father, we humbly thank thee for all thy gifts so freely bestowed upon us, for life and health and safety, for power to work and leisure to rest, for all that is beautiful in creation and in the lives of men, women, and children. We praise and magnify thy holy name. But above all, we thank thee for our spiritual mercies in Christ Jesus our Lord, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. Fill our hearts with all joy and peace in believing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue on the bottom page 727. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless and preserve you this night, indeed, forevermore. Amen. 
Thank you for joining us for our holy hug on our way to bed and for uh, coming together as the body of Christ this night. I pray that you have a most restful night and that in the morning you're able to join us at 7 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Mountain as Pastor Don from St. Mark's Dawson Creek leads us in morning prayer. At 12.15 Pacific, 1.15 Mountain, the Dean will be next door at the Cathedral for midday prayer. At uh, two-ish, uh, Father Wilfred will lead us in his spiritual journey reflection from the Bulkley Valley Parish. And God willing, I'll be back tomorrow at nine to share again with you in a service of Compline. Until then, rest well. Nighty-night.